Hello beautiful beings and welcome back to the channel. I hope this video helps you grow into the person that you want to be. So did you know that that wired but tired feeling or that listless feeling can lead back to the same thing? So you know when you just wanna lay around and scroll on social media? Or you're feeling wired but tired, you're like, I'm wired but I, for some reason I can't do the things I know I need to do. This is usually because our cup is empty and if you guys want to, you can watch my video on why overgiving lowers your vibration and it's gonna be a good video to go along with this one. Uh, but basically what happens is, imagine this, you've got this checklist of things you need to do for everyone in your life. There's people you know you need to get a hold of but you're kind of avoiding calling them. There's things you have to do, but you're kind of avoiding those things. It's because you're asking from a place of emptiness to go fill everything up, right? It's like your cup is empty, but what you're supposed to do is jump into this to-do list. And what happens is our bodies get really wired because we think giving and doing and being is how we're going to get what we want in life, but we're so tired because that's actually not what fills us because we're not filling up from the inside. Uh, so there's a wired I need to do and then a tired, but I fucking can't do it. Um, and then there's that like scrolling on social media, just sinking into your bed. And sometimes that just kind of feels like exactly what you need. It's because we're not taking the time to be with ourselves, especially, um, personally and like intimately and quality time. You know how we sometimes ask for those things from other people? I just want you to be see me. I just want you to, I just want this quality time. I just want to be heard. That's what your inner being is saying to you when it's burnt out. It's like, I just want to be. And the closest thing we are trained to do is to scroll on social media where we get to kind of like look at things that we like or enjoy or stimulate us. It's a pseudo sense of filling up. And I'm not saying it's horrible. I think that there are moments where it can be beneficial, especially if you're using it for like inspiration for a vision board or something. Um, but there are better, more fulfilling, more sustainable ways to achieve a state of wholeness so you can go throughout your day and you can tackle and do everything that you want to do. Uh, it really doesn't take as much to fill our cups as we think. In the beginning, when we break out of the cycle of not filling our own cup, there can be an adjustment period. I would give yourself about two weeks to be really selfish, as self-centered as you can be, bring everything back into balance, and then you'll realize what you need is just a portion of the day for you to be with you sit down and journal. Sit in front of a mirror. I do mirror work all the time because a lot of the times I feel like I'm flitting out in the universe and when I can look at me, it's like, whoa, there's a person there, hi. So just even talking to myself in the morning while I'm doing my makeup, I'll be like, hey babe, how did you sleep? And I'll really answer myself. How are you feeling? Do you need anything? Just be like the most wonderful, loving person you can be to yourself and check in and get really personal and then give yourself a foot rub or do something. A foot rub might not even juice you up, it juices me up, but do something, check in with yourself and see what that something would be that would start refilling your tank. Do you just need to lay there? Instead of having a cup of coffee, do you need to take a 15 minute nap or do a meditation or do a tapping round of EFT to clear the heavy emotion that you've been carrying. What can you do to tend to yourself, not fix yourself, not try to change yourself, but to love yourself right where you're at and give yourself the support and nourishment that you need. And it feels really good when you start doing this and you're gonna need to really water yourself. And 
especially in those moments where you just want to scroll or you're wired and tired, I want you to check in and be like, what would actually make me feel really good? What have I been really wanting? Have I really wanted a nap? Have I really wanted to go for a run? Have I really wanted to watch that movie? How can I make time for myself? And if you've got a life that's demanding your time right away, what you need to do is say, okay, what do I need? I'm going to promise to give it to myself this evening, right? Or if it has to be tomorrow at 12 p.m. I'm going to give this to myself. I'm going to do this for myself. And just having that sort of arrangement and understanding with yourself is going to develop um, a sense of relief in your body because it's going to be like, oh, our cup is going to get filled. We're not going to be this endless giving and doing machine. So play with that. See what happens. Make a list of things that when you think about them, they make you smile, uplift you, make you feel good, and then have that list available for when you're feeling listless or when you're feeling that wired and tired or when you find yourself scrolling aimlessly on social media and be like, wait, let me see what's on this list. Oh, naps. I like naps in the sun. Do I need that right now? Yeah, that sounds good. Or, oh, there's this one meal that really nourishes me. There's this one thing, like I love bagels and lox and I love, I love chai tea. There's these little things I love that it's like being a great lover to yourself. You know, if your lover brings you bagels and lox and a chai tea and you're just like, oh, they get me, they see me, they know how to love me. You need to get you and see you and know how to love you and don't settle for less. Don't settle for scrolling on Instagram and don't live in a state of wired and tired when you have everything within you and the capacity to fill your 